12. We are on step 13, and that's closing the document and submitting it for grading. Now, we know we've already saved this document. We've got our name up here at the top. All we have to do is click the close or the X button up here in the far right and make sure you click save. And behind that, you should come up with this My T Lab screen. You want to close this because now we want to upload the file to be graded. So click Upload Completed File, choose File. Mine happens to go right to my path, 1010 Word, Word SB1. So all I've got to do is double click on that file. And then I want to choose Upload. And it takes about five seconds. And you will get a green check mark up here at the top to tell you that your completed file has been successfully uploaded. You want to go over here to the right and you will see Finish and Submit for Grading. Click on it. This tells you that the maximum score is 50 points. To find out our score, we want to return to Course. And hopefully you've gotten a 50 out of 50 in your score. If you have not, any time uh, when you do your skill builders, you get three attempts to get the highest score you can get. Um, when you do your exam reviews, you get unlimited attempts. Your exam, you only get one attempt, but let me show you how to go look. If you didn't get 50 and you want to submit once or twice again, you want to click on this drop down, View Submissions, and over here you can click on your submission. And on the right side, you can kind of scroll down here and it'll tell you what points you missed out of your 50. But my favorite report is this download submission with live comments. If you click on it and open it and enable editing, it'll give you a little history here at the top, some summary of what you did. But you can scroll down. It'll actually show little comment bubbles on the right side if you've missed something. You can click on the comment. Usually, it is misspelled. If you've misspelled a word, it will not recognize it. So it would say, does not see Aspen Falls Public Library if you spelled something wrong. And you'll see a little uh, bubble over here. If you don't see your bubbles, go to Review. And you can say, Show Markup and make sure Comments is checked so that you can see your checks or your balloons. Um, you cannot make the changes on this document. It's just a document to show you what you did wrong. So you'd have to close it, close this, close this, go back to your original file that you've got saved in your 1010 folder, and you would open it, make the corrections, close them, and save them. And then you would go back just the way we started. Open it again and upload the completed file. And you can do that three times for your skill builders. And that's the end of Skill Builder 1. Thank you.